Hey everyone, in this video we will go through how to create a data mention based on the data in the data model. So let's start. I've got this Power BI file open here with me and we've got a table called fact internet sales and we want to build a dimension based on the dates which are sitting in this data model. It could be multiple fact tables or it could be multiple dimension tables as well. So we want to make sure that we grab the dates based on the dates which are in the data model. So I'll quickly take you through this some documentation so we will use the calendar auto function and you can read it returns a table with single column date that contains contiguous sets of dates and the range of the dates is automatically calculated based on the data in the data model so let's just quickly go here and then i'll go to the modeling tab and click on new table and I'll call the table dim date and we'll use the calendar auto function and I'll just close the brackets and hit enter and we'll quickly just go and have a look at the data in the dim date table and you can see it's giving us data from 1st of January 2003 and let's just sort this to 31st of December 2014. So now we will start adding some columns onto this and I'll uh, take you through some more uh, co uh, documentation I've got open here so we'll use the add columns function to get the relevant expression and we'll also use the format so let's just I've got some code already here with me so we will add a column for year to just so we'll let me just go back to the model and I'll show you what I mean so we'll just say add column and then we'll just add so we'll give the so the format is you give the name of the column and then the expression you want to use so we are saying we want year to be added and then we are passing the date and I'll hit enter and we'll get the year here now. So you can see we've uh, started getting the year. So next uh, bit is we'll get the month which is pretty much similar except in this case we are using the format function. So here we just you can keep adding uh, the name and then uh, the formula and it will keep adding the columns for you so here now we'll get the month and we can add so uh, we are here then we'll add the month number so i'll just add a comma and all we're doing is we're getting we're passing the date to the month function here so in this one we pass the date to the format function and we pass the mmm and then it returns so you can look at the format definition the dax function format and then you can look at the various options that are available with this so you probably need to explore this and then if i hit enter here now it will add the month numbers as well and so we'll just keep continuous uh, to add and then we'll uh, get the month name and again we are passing the format function but we are passing uh, four m's instead of three so i'll just go here again do a comma and uh, uh, so we've said month name we've added a column name month name and then we've given the dax code so don't worry i will also add this dax code into the video notes so you can download and play with it if you want and um, let's just go back here we'll go to the we'll get the weekday so essentially what we've said is we're adding a column by the name of weekday and the the function or the way to extract it is that you use the weekday function and pass date to it. So you can go through all of these functions of weekday name again we are using the format function but we are passing it the dddd format. Um, so I'll just go here add a comma I'm saying let's just call weekday name and how to get the weekday name is to use format date dddd. So it gives us the name, the date names. And next, we'll just keep adding. And then we want the date surrogate key. So we're passing the format, the date to the format function. And then we are specifying how we want the format to return. So let's just go back here and we will add a comma here at the end. So I would also recommend just going through the functions we've used and just going through that. So going through the format function, going through the weekday function, going through the month function. So you can uh, copy this code from the video notes and then separately just run yourself through each of the DAX functions. So in this video, we've essentially learned how to create diet dimension 
uh, and what we've done is we've uh, used the data which is already sitting in the data model and uh, using the calendar auto function and then we've added columns onto uh, the dates we re retrieved using the calendar auto function i hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what i'm doing uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics cheers bye